have sinned and come short of the glory of God. 24. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let me do, do uh, 24, 25 to it. Uh, whom God had set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the for, uh, forbearance of God. God in his grace, in his mercy, has allowed this to happen to us. That he wants us to use that process which he has designed and that is through the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What has he done? Verse 24 again, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So when we are preaching the gospel or sharing the gospel, it is always in Christ Jesus. It is always in what he did for us. He's already done it and he wants us to believe it by faith. Just as we tell our friends, our neighbors who have not been to somewhere uh, or seen something, but we're telling them, and as we tell them, they believe us. When we are sharing the gospel, we should be using the same process of what we have read and share it with them. And that allows them to become saved or to at least consider their ways that, oh, what they are doing is not going to help them. People may say that, oh, I have not seen, but we know we all sin, we have seen. So may God help us so that this process of sharing the gospel or evangelizing or telling other people the Holy Scriptures of what God has come to do for you and me, we should be able to share it. And when we share the gospel, it allows other people to oh, you know, pass it on. Let us remember that evangelism goes with repentance. And somebody may have already been baptized, he may have already become a Christian, but the question is that repentance does not end. Why? Because every day we go through issues, problems, and we sin. And that means there must always be repentance. Without repentance, there's no salvation. May the Lord help us. We thank God for what he has brought to our attention and pray that we will continue to ask the Holy Spirit to energize us, to help us to really accept the gospel that God has given to us so that we will be washed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet and every part of us will continue to be obeying God, obeying Christ, and following the Holy Spirit direction. May this be our portion in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.